In this video, I want to answer the question if we can use an Arduino ESP32 or ESP8266 and Raspberry Pi for real life applications. I want to discuss four things functionality, reliability, trust, and last but not the least, economy. Let's go first with functionality. Functionality is the easiest part among the four. This is about the prototype and we are happy building prototypes. And this can be divided into two. Usually, you have the hardware and of course, the other side, the software. On the hardware, we, we usually deal with electronics that includes the battery, wiring, PCBs, stuff like that. We also concerned about the mechanical, the enclosures, the 3D printed parts, and then sometimes we also have some optics. On the software side, we usually concern on the codes, the Arduino C code, the Python code and the Raspberry Pi, and then the applications that comes with it could be a software applications on mobile apps or on computers that is for function functionality next on the list is reliability when it comes to reliability what we do there is testing there's actually three things in testing we do environmental safety and worst case on the environmental, you usually have thermal cycle, thermal shock, vibration, moisture, vacuum. It depends on what kind of product you are building and what type of company you are in. On safety, you usually, ha you usually have drop tests, short circuit tests, and then the requirements on the creepage and the clearances. This involves your PCB designs. On worst case, we usually have over voltage and driving it over specs and then halt test or highly accelerated life test. This sums up all the things that or probably most of the things that we do when we want to do we want to ensure that our circuits are reliable. R reliability or testing can be boring and not as exciting as the prototyping stage and as hobbyists these are the things that we usually don't do our next stop is trust trust is about certifications and approvals when it comes to certification approvals that could be FCC UL CE ATEX and other things and that will require in your country or whatever product you are building and there's another word that you be reminded on this and that's what we call cost these kinds of certification and approvals of third party labs are very expensive because you will do we, you're going to use some expensive equipments like when you're doing some EMI testing you're doing some ESD testing and that can be really difficult for a hobbyist like us the last but not the least is economy economy is about production when it comes to production what are you trying to achieve? Are you going to build a prototype? Are you going to have a pilot run? Or are you going to have mass productions? Economy is important because there are many factors involved in it. Like you might you might save cost if you if you just design a customized PCB instead of using an actual Arduino board 
or ESP32 board or it could be cheaper if you just build a unique single board computer instead of the Raspberry Pi. As a final word, if we can use an Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and other off-the-shelf boards on real-life applications, the answer is basically yes and no because there are many considerations that needs to be considered. Personally, I only use these boards when I'm building prototypes. On mass productions, I highly encourage that you develop your own circuits. There are still many things that I'm actually missing here, but I hope I was able to give you light on what are things that we need to be considered when we're going to decide if we will use a Raspberry Pi, Arduino, ESP32 on actual real-life applications. If you think that the video is interesting and was able to give you information, please hit the like button and subscribe on my future videos. Thank you.